Hi, in this tutorial, I'll show you how to create an NDI bridge over SRT. We'll use two instances of Calaba. The plan is to turn NDI into SRT using the on-premises instance, then convert SRT back to NDI with the cloud instance. Let's log into our local on-premises Calaba. First, we need to enable our NDI device so that Calaba can discover it. And there it is. Great. Next, let's log into our cloud instance. Here, we'll set up a receiver. Since we're sending our NDI as SRT, the first step is to create an SRT server in the cloud. This server will receive the stream. Done. Now, let's copy the publisher URL from this server. Back to our on-premises Calaba. We'll create a restream to take the discovered NDI stream and send it to the cloud SRT server. Set the input type to NDI device and choose your device. For the output, set it to SRT URL and paste the publisher URL we copied earlier. Since my cloud server is pretty far away, I'll add some latency to the stream to avoid drops. Great, let's save. Now, our NDI stream is being sent as SRT to the cloud. Switching back to the cloud instance, we can see the stream is coming through. Next, let's create an NDI adapter to convert the SRT stream back into NDI. Set the SRT server as the input. For the output, create a new NDI device. Done. Now we can use this NDI device within the cloud network. To check our NDI video, I'll set up a recording process. But instead of a standard recording, I'll record the stream as an M3U8 file. This lets me watch the stream while it's being recorded. Since we're using HLS, there will be some noticeable latency, but that's expected. Here's the file we're recording. Let's take a look. Now, just to demonstrate how this works, I'm going to switch between different NDI test patterns. That's it. Thanks for watching. Try Calaba on AWS or install self-hosted version.